Alright, alright, alright. We here with Blaze Blue finally. It's been a while. Every single time, man, I mean, it's not really that much different today. I am at least more awake right now. But every single time I've played Blaze Blue in the past, like, week, I have just been dead. Like, I haven't, I've started to record and I realized, like, man, I'm playing like ass. <coughs> I'm not doing anything intelligently. I'm sitting here just doing hella stupid shit. Also, hello, dad boy Uchiha. I know you watch my videos. Shout outs to you. Um, anyway, I've just been like fatigued, like dead mentally, physically, all of it, just tired. It's so, like I've just been playing like the dumbest person in the world. Oh, we already up. I do have some shit to talk about, but before we talk about that shit, obviously we're going to have to play. I want to talk about Kokonoe a little bit. In my opinion regarding the whole situation, I can kind of just get into it a little bit really quickly. Like, I was really looking at like the NorCal tournaments, because NorCal, the NorCal community in general, has always been one of the more competitive communities in the United States, in my opinion. Um, and then I kind of sat down like realized most of our highly competitive people are gone. Please, Please. Like the people that could actually compete at like a world stage, really good at the game overall, all that shit. Dacid Bro quit. Copper Dabbit quit. And those were the two that always went back and forth. It was pretty much always them with grand finals. Then you had like the up and comers in the community. The dudes that were always fighting their way through them. Maybe beating them, but usually not. But they were getting there. They were getting better. Apology Man, who obviously now doesn't... He doesn't really focus on Blaze Blue that much. So for that, like, his performance kind of suffers due to that. Mystic D, who, like, was taking leaps and bounds with the quality of his Taokaka. Moved. Left. Gone. I don't know if he's still... He tried to get a Blaze Blue community up and running in Hawaii. I don't know if that's still going on or not. I'll continue this thought in a bit. There you mash, you son of a bitch. They mean to do it. Oh, you son of a bitch! That was terrible, that was terrible. I'm terrible. Did she just low profile my 5C? Oh, son of a bitch. Back to playing like shit! Damn it, man, I suck! Ugh! I didn't even land a full wreck of chain. Son of a bitch! Is that Paka or neutral's too good? Ah! Ah, I tried to back dash, it didn't work. Ah, fuck! Fuck! I'm like, I gotta give it to this dude. Like, he's trying. But Taokaka's so hard to use online. Taokaka's... I tried Taokaka. Like, I'm interested... I'm honestly... Taokaka has a playstyle that I am interested in learning. Like, she's very good rushdown, extremely good neutral. And I feel like, you know, if you want to compete at a high level in this game, specifically against Kokonoi, you gotta be picking one of the high-level characters. I'm not sure if Taokaka's the one for that. I don't know... How much Kokonoe fucks up her neutral with the Graviton shit. That's something, I mean, obviously I'd have to figure out. But there aren't really that many Kokonoe players online. It's just, they're, go like, I don't know. But, well, there's not many players online, to be perfectly honest. The, the, the community just seems to be kind of slowly dwindling already, which is not a good sign. But yeah, so anyway, I feel like, at first I was really like, you know, 
Look, Kokonoe has won the last four NorCal tournaments. NorCal's one of the best in the country. Look at us. Check that shit out. And then I kind of realized, like, yeah, we're kind of not anymore. You know, we don't really have any of the high-quality players that we used to have. The, most of them are now gone. Or they're, like, focusing on other games. So I kind of had to reevaluate. Well, I got to still think Kokono is the best character in the game. But I'm not really sure. I don't, I, just, I don't know. Oh, my God. Oops, my bad. Shit, I tried to do I tried to get a JA in there. Man. Hot. Fuck! Reset! Son of a bitch, I didn't get my dash! I don't know what's going on. I do, however, know I don't know shit about Rachel, man. Ah, oh, fuck, I tried to I tried to DP that. What the hell did I just do? What the shit? Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't have meter graphic. it. Oh god damn it! What am I doing? Did that really? That beat my fi that beat my JB? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing is Rachel. Rachel's weird, man. Also, some buttons aren't coming out, and that's confusing me. Try to anti air it, got blown up. How did I miss? Backdash, I swear to God, man. Really? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! I'm gone. I'm not gone. I'm not gone! Thought I was gone! Oh, I tried to- <laughs> I obviously missed my Tiger New DP. For having the shittiest goddamn 5C. Ah! Slow, terrible hitbox. What the hell is that float? I've actually never seen that float, because that was obviously- Oh my god, that was there was supposed to be a 2C in there. I'm terrible, I'm terrible! I'm terrible. Do you see how terrible? This is why I don't record. I don't deserve to be winning these matches. I'm winning these matches because these people are learning. These people are just learning and I'm cheaping them out. I feel bad. I feel bad. I don't deserve this. So anyway, Kokonoe. Now I'm like, I do 100% best character in the game. Absolutely. Black Hole, stupid. I think that Kokonoi should not necessarily be banned, but the black hole, if Kokonoi is not banned, the black hole should be. No matter what, black hole Please should be banned because it turns the game to any any Kokonoi player, it basically turns the game into a five player game. Characters that can get out of black hole can compete with Kokonoi. Characters that cannot, you're fucked. Like just game over. You just lost at the character select screen. So that is why I feel like no matter what black hole ban, that's justifiable and that should be done. The rest of it is out of my jurisdiction, it's out of my expertise level, and I'm gonna leave that shit alone. But just that realization that like that NorCal is not really that competitive anymore, I'm sad.
Oh my god, I suck! You can't press buttons against Asriel, I'm sorry. What the fuck? Oh my god. My buttons aren't coming out! My buttons aren't coming out! I honestly, I'm not sure, but I feel like this whole LGP thing might increase lag by a little bit. And that's why a lot of things I try to do, like, I'm not great on. Ow. Ow. Fucking Taukaka's brutal ass neutral game! Ow. Ow. Go the fuck away! Bitch, go away! I wanna deal with you. What the? No, bullshit! This is bullshit! This game is bullshit! She just low broke! Fuck a suck 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 Ah! Oh god, that wasn't what I wanted. Ah! Go away! Fucking Tao Kok! God damn it! Ah, oh, fuck! I didn't have meter, though. I was looking at the wrong meter. I was looking at the wrong meter! I'm so scrubby! Why do I suck this much? <laughs> I don't deserve the prestige that comes with the yellow. I don't deserve it, man. I should be dark blue, man. That is the, I can never remember. Is dark blue or is light blue the worst one? I'm going to play one more. Play this dude that just joined. Play against the fucking Hazuma player who's probably going to pick Tarumi Please first. Let's select see. Your character. It's so weird. If it, nope. All right. I, I don't know why. Every single Hazma player, except for this dude now, I've played like seven people in a row. They pick Tarumi first. I kill them because, you know, Tarumi's not that good and kind of requires like a really heavy knowledge of frame traps and like a really good movement game to be successful with him, which a lot of players honestly, unfortunately, do not have. So they will always pick Tarumi, I blow them up, and then they immediately run to Hazuma. Like the last seven people that I've played. They always have a Hazuma icon, or like in the lobby system they have Hazuma as their set dude. The Wheel of Fate is turning. So confusing. Fuck off, really? Why does he keep coming in and trying to air from? That's Annie Air. Good Annie Air, homie! <laughs> Now I'm just being an asshole. Doing this fucking nonsense dash through shit. I'm an asshole. I'll admit it. Ah, fuck. It's the air. Put myself in the corner! Damn it! I am such an asshole! Nobody does that! Nobody does that because it's stupid! Hornet is 
slow and easy to block. And I am abusing the newness of these players that I'm going to make them quit. No wonder everybody's quitting. Everybody I play should quit. Just sitting here, this fucking asshole. This piece of shit. Ah. See, look at that. I made somebody quit the lobby, man. I made somebody quit the lobby. You poor Taukaka player. You're already pl all of these people. Well, minus the Hazem a player, the ha I mean, Hazem is still decently difficult to utilize. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna. I'm using Asriel. I cannot judge anybody on the difficulty of use of their character. But this mother, this poor motherfucker trying to use Rachel online. <laughs> that other poor motherfucker trying to use Talkaka online. And I'm sitting here with the easy ass to use Asriel, just blowing them up. Sorry. I have a character that does 4k damage off of 3 hits. My bad. I feel like such a dick. Hey, I didn't know they had a- it makes sense they have a special intro, but I did not know that they had a special intro. Also, just saying, this is a new realization for me. I'm looking at Rachel's legs. Don't you think if she's running around on heels that honestly a stripper would not wear? Don't you think her legs should be a little bit more toned? I mean, seriously, those motherfuckers are skinny as shit. Her legs should be at least a little more muscular than that if she is able to balance so well. Actually, now that I think about it, she does float everywhere. She uses the power of wind to float everywhere. So, it makes sense. She's not really actually using her legs. So why the heat? Why even wear the heels? Hey dog, asking the important questions from fighting game designers since 2014. Oh, why am I here? Why am I here? Why am I doing this shit? Why am I polluting the Brett stream with my shitty Asriel play? Blowing up these port. Oh well, now I don't feel bad for this dude. <laughs> now this guy deserves everything that I give him. Or morphine diaries. Won't give up, will ya? Rebel two. I mean, I thought like maybe that was some attempt at like you know he keeps he keeps seeing me jump. So maybe the constant chains in the throw is like he's expecting me to block, and then when he comes in, he gets a throw, and like if I hit a button, maybe he gets a count, like something. Maybe there was some intelligence behind it. Nah, this homie just wanted perfect throws. This is my problem. That's honestly, like I have a lot of problems in general in fighting games. Just this is how I am. I'm well aware of it. And ever since I like, the more I learn about fighting games, the more I realize like. I just suck. You know, like, if I, I'm, I would not want to look back at any of my old videos and see how I talked then, because I'm pretty sure I remember myself always being, like, hella derogatory towards other players. Always like, yo, this dude sucks, that dude sucks. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I still do that in Marvel, because everybody that does play online Marvel sucks. I'm just saying. But, uh, that's not actually serious, but a lot of them do. Just because, just like, just because of the environment that online Marvel promotes. But in Blaze Blue, I used to just be so incredibly derogatory towards people for no particularly good reason. I shouldn't have been. Because I thought far more highly of myself than I had any right to think. And the more I have experienced fighting games, the better I've gotten, the more I've learned. I just, I just keep realizing that I suck. I'm so bad in general, and I completely lost what my original point was supposed to be. What was my original point supposed to be? Why not just? I don't know, I'm sure some of you were smart enough to figure it out. Some of you much and more intelligent than me. I'm sure y'all can figure that shit out. I don't know, the entire point of that was just that I suck at video games. I know it. I know it. Please select your character. This morphine Hazama. diaries, dude, though. You're a good dude. Hazama. If by some reason you manage to come across this video and you see this shit, you're a quality dude. Sticking through, learning the game, 
I don't know if you're getting frustrated or not, but that's part of the learning experience. There is a lot of frustration involved with learning fighting games, but you are sticking through it, my homie, and that is something worth respecting. I'm really not. And my ass is just sitting here drinking a beer and breaking bottles. See, that's why. That's why. No, These poor dudes are all period. fucking up because they got shards of glass in their Never feet. They can't move, move properly. Bad burst. Bad burst. I see this to block Nate. Seriously, bro? Seriously, Hazama go. Air grab that! I don't know what I'm doing. Try to DP that. I didn't react in time. See, now I'm playing like booty. Why does that come out so damn fast? Good shit. Good shit. I deserve that. I was definitely calling Jayako, but I'll take it. Rebel two. Action. Stop. Ah, shit. God, I suck! Bad burst. Ah, no, never mind. That was a good burst. That's what I was expecting. I was expecting that shit. And this moron. I sense the block, Nate. Nice block, Nate. Oh god, it's laggy. I'm not gonna punish that. Oh my god, I'm terrible. I'm terrible! Thought I would stay in the air longer! Oh fuck, 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 fuck. I wanted, I wanted, that was obvious. We know, we all know what that was supposed to be, and it would have hit too, goddammit. Oh, fuck me. Fucking fancy airs. Like, do you know how painful that shit is? To not fucking have an anti air that can just work on reaction? Like, I have to throw it out that fucking early? Oh my god. That didn't even work. Are you serious? Let's get that one. Ah. I jump over it, really? That was poor. That was poor. I'm doing stupid shit now. No way, oh, that does work actually. What? Oh my god, I'm stupid. I tacked it. I tacked it. I tacked it. I don't care what the game says. I tacked it. I played stupid there. That was my own fault. See, my problem is, I got too patient. That was my problem. I should have just gone in. 
I should've just gone in, done shit, but I got too patient. I'm trying to, like, learn how to counter Hazuma. Rather than trying to, like... Because the problem is Hazuma's chains come out so fucking fast. Like, I've tried to jump up to meet him before. I get kicked out of it by chain. Like, immediately, I just get knocked in the face by it. I've tried to get over chains. Doesn't work, they still hit me, they're too fast. So, like, I'm trying to figure- I was trying to figure out ways how to counter him instead of trying to go in on him. And what I learned is that 2C is a shitty fucking anti-air. Like, it's a fantastic anti-air for predictable jump-ins. If you're getting predictable with it, 2C is great! But it doesn't get invincibility fast enough. Like, anti-airs like Ragna's 6A, Kokonoe's 6A. Anti-airs that are just like immediately upper body invincible. Those are the anti-airs that you want. Actually, I think, well, no, I don't think, uh, I don't know if Rachel is like a little cat punch thing. I don't know if that's 6A or 6B for Rachel. I think that, I don't think that actually has, um, what's it called? I don't think that has upper body invincibility. I think it actually has armor. That move right there. I want to say it has armor. But yeah, anyway. 2C sucks. I mean, ultimately, it's an answer. Like, it, it's the best thing he's got. It's the best option he's got. Because other than that, he has 6B with upper body invincibility. And it's still... It's still not great. And it's hard to pick up, too. Because you have to dash cancel it. Like... You have like a one one frame to dash cancel it to combo into it. <laughs> So yeah, characters like Ragna, Kokonoe, they got that shit easy. Actually, so does Tarumi has a really Tarumi's is really good. Hazuma's is also really good. 5C has a fucking amazing hitbox. You can just throw that bitch out. And like in general, you'll hit anybody that's approaching you. That move right there, I'm probably 16. That move's fucking amazing. I must be 6 Because I think like 6A and 6B are the uh, overhead slash lows. Please don't stand up anymore. You know the overhead elbow and the low little shin kick. Come on, Rachel. Oh, you got this. He's gonna do more of that. It's like he just did the instant overhead in the combo, but I don't think he ever did the instant overhead in the. I don't think I've seen him do the instant overhead match. He keeps doing that. Which is kind of like probate. He used to be doing instant overheads. That's where Rachel gets... I mean, that's where Rachel gets scary. Without her instant overhead, you can, there's really nothing to worry about with Rachel. But I've also heard those are quite difficult to do. So, I certainly can't blame him for not doing it. People need to start tapping those. Is that controllable? Like, oh, that poor, poor frog. I forgot his name. The poor frog. Yeah, is that like dependent on which? Well, no. All this stuff. I'm, I'm just talking like this is like supers or something, or like Marvel, where you just hit the scary. Hit a couple buttons at the same time rather than like all the buttons. Maybe it's de maybe it's dependent on like how many of those things she has present. Oh, we could probably get a combo off that. Ooh, diaries, you got this. I don't believe. I don't believe. Should have believed harder. Why not just leave the stage? He's taking his lumps, though. Man, I mean, like, I do want to learn a new character because I feel like Azrael's weaknesses overall um, are a little bit too much against, like, the higher t the higher tier characters. Characters like Lychee, Taokaka. Valkenhayn, not so much. I feel like he could compete decently with Valkenhayn. But like Lychee and Taokaka, Hazama, they are fucking terrors of my life. But like I've really come to realize that ultimately it's not necessarily like I'm not capable of it, but that I don't care enough. Like 
I enjoy playing. I don't like sitting in training mode doing shit. Characters like Taukaka, like Falkenheim. A lot of the characters that I really do want to play require that time in training mode to get good with them. Asriel doesn't. Asriel is a fairly easy character to utilize. Seriously? That actually comboed? Ah, shit, I tried to jump. Really? See, too fast, too fast! See, now I'm hitting buttons and they're not coming out. That should have been a throw counter. Hmm. Really? Really? Too easy. Ooh. 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 Okay, not even on instant block. I, won't, I need to... See, shit I need to figure out. Is the regular one not safe on instant block? Is it just because that was powered up? Fuck you. Really? 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 What? Oh my god! Buttons aren't coming out! What? This game sucks. <laughs> Fuck! Ooh, you, you son of a bitch! Oh my god. I did not mean to do that. That was a complete accident, but fuck it, it worked. I didn't confirm that well anyway. See? See? That's the kind of move I fucking need! Watch your steps. Fuck you, you son of a bitch! Seriously? His 5A is a better fucking answer. Actually, my 5A is probably a better answer than 2C. Fuck you, Asriel, you dumb motherfucker! Useless bitch. Seriously? I lost. I was playing better at the start than I am now. I'm making so many stupid mistakes. It's unbelievable. Ugh. I don't deserve any of this. I don't deserve to be winning. Mm. I do need to be trying to use, like, oh, hello, Talon. I don't know if this dude is actually. Please select your character. I never know if it's Pain or if it's Dark Talon playing. I don't even know if they know this is me. Mm. But I am so bad, and I'm gonna get rocked. Whoever it is, I'm gonna get rocked. Cause they play this. They play this game. They grind this shit out. <coughs> and they also play amazing characters. Pain plays Kokonoe. Dark Talon plays Jin or Ragna. I know he switches between them both. Jin is a fucking amazing character. And Ragna is my kryptonite. <laughs> fucking Ragna. I just I don't understand what my mental block is with Ragna, but I suck against him. I don't know why. But I do. What am I doing? Yeah, I'm blocking both near. Oh my god. Fucking amazing opening. Fuck! 
Me sideways. Oh my god! I should have just rapid at that to be safe, to be perfectly honest. Like, I should have just done it. I'm gonna do 60. Nice block, my homie! Oh, I tried to backdash it. Shit! Motherfuck! Oh god. Nah, I tried to backdash it again. Yeah, backdash it. Must be barrier. Talon's gonna kick my ass. Talon is gonna rock my ass. Damn, I am playing stupid. Like either one of them. If this motherfucker picks Coconut, I'm a rage quit. This motherfucker picks up a coconut, I'm gone, I'm rage quitting. I'm not actually gonna rage quit, but seriously, I will cry. I will legitimately cry. Alright. Time for the ass beating that I deserve. Who this motherfucker going to? Well, this is just weird. I have no idea what the fuck is happening right now. What is going on? I'm conf- WHO USES Valkenheim? Maybe Talon's trying to pick up Valkenheim, I guess? So he can actually have a character that can compete with his brother? Oh, Kokonoi. If he can actually use Valkenheim online, though, I will be impressed. And I will get 50 50 like fucking crazy. But mostly I'll be impressed. Okay. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. I'm nervous. Ow. Oh my god, I can't even- Oh my god, that's a legit block screen. I know- I've never played Balkanine before, so I don't know anything about this character. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh my god. Nice, alright. This is a learning experience. This is a bad learning experience! Actually, I'm dead. No, that is dead. No, I'm dead. I should be. Okay. Oh, yep, I'm dead. Good shit, good shit, good shit. I did not know that first hit was a legit block screen. Like, I thought I would be able to, um... I tried to backdash out of it. Shit, I even ended up instant blocking one of the hits. Oh god lag! I mean that lag didn't really matter. Fuck lag! What is going on? What is happening? If you're on wireless, I hate you! What the? What, wait, 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 wait a fucking minute. Wait a goddamn, wait a goddamn minute. I'm mind fucked. Wait, a, what the fuck happened there? Is he considered airborne on his four dash? Bullshit. 
Oh, that's bullshit! Oh, you motherfucking lag, spiker, cheater! Oh god, what the fuck? Bullshit! Bullshit! I'm calling it now! That was not a legitimate win! Lag, spike, and cheater! He was- he has such fast reactions, he managed to lag spike that counter hit before it happened. That's how good he is. That's how fast his reactions are. And I still almost got a round off him. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's just- they have to be playing on wireless. That's something that really only happens on wireless. But that's a bummer. I want my run back, though. I want my motherfucking run back. Because I really do need to learn- Well, I don't need to learn the Valkenheim matchup. <laughs> I really don't. I'm like, I'm sitting here talking about how I need to learn matchups and shit. I'm too busy for tournaments now. I've wanted to go to the last two that have been in NorCal. And both times, you know, I got called into work, had to go to work. Had to take care of life and shit. Rebel one. Action. Come on. Hazuma should actually be pretty much well. Not anymore. Hazuma, you're fucked. Alright. Yeah. Hazuma, you fucked. Like, honestly, that basically could have been the round if he had managed to get that OP hit. I don't know what he was trying to do with the 3C. Obviously, 3C doesn't work mid screen. That's a corner on the defender. Wow. I mean, this could be around. Oh, especially because of that. Man, I'm... But I'm not actually seeing any Valkenheim do that. I don't blame any Valkenheim for not doing that. Oh, do that? oh yeah, there's that last year. I forgot. I don't blame any Valkenheims for not using that, because I would say overall... Having his burst available with Valkenheim because he has such poor defensive options overall. Oh my god. This is why I need to learn Valkenheim. I'm like, I would legitimately say the only reason Valkenheim is not the best character in the Ula. Assume I'm not talking about Kokonoi. Whenever I talk about like tears, just assume Kokonoi's the fucking best. We all know that, and everybody else just comes in second. So it's just it's irrelevant talking about her. The only reason pre Kokonoi, yo, really, you're a dick. You're a dick. The only reason Valkenhayn is not the best, in my opinion, is because Taokaka's neutral shits on him so badly. Like, Taokaka's literally the only character that, like, because of her pressure, his lack of defensive options, and the fact that she really can compete with him with wolf form in neutral. I mean, once, either way, once one of them gets put on the defensive, they're both fucked. It is sad life for both of them. Please but I feel like Takaka has the advantage in the neutral over Valkenheim. Valkenheim. And then it's just whoever gets the first hit. And that's the only reason that Valkenheim is not the best character in the game is because of Takaka. But yeah, that motherfucker. Really good. Really, really good. You know, he's got just those constant 50 50s. I would have gotten hit. Like, I would have gotten hit by that low. I was sitting there, you know, analyzing him thinking this entire time he has always done wolf uh i don't actually know if like he wolf form has different 5b 2b and 5c 2c i know like 5a is no, like the a button no matter what does the same move i don't know if that's the same for b and c but like he was doing you know low b low c and then going into overheads every single time and so you know i saw him do it i was like oh well, there's an overhead and sure enough got out of wolf form smacked that poor motherfucker with the human low oh my god no oh no oh no that is bullshit that that crossed back over Yo, Valkenheim, ladies and gentlemen. I know some people are actually trying to get Valkenheim banned. 
I completely disagree. I mean, like I said, the only broken thing I think about Kokonoe... Well, that infinite block string that people discovered, that shit's stupid. Up until that almost infinite block string that leaves you, like, a frame if you instant block all of it perfectly to, um... To reversal. And even if you don't, that's still a mix-up for Kokonoe. You know, obviously the Kokonoe player is gonna be aware. Oh, damn. Obviously the Kokonoe player is gonna be aware of that situation where people are able to reversal. Man, imagine if... Oh, imagine if that shit was still an overhead, though. Could you imagine? The days when that was an overhead were so depressing. So utterly depressing. Please don't Astro, please don't, 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 please don't do it, don't, okay, she died first. <laughs> Last thing these poor new players need is to get astro but it's something Talon would do the dick. Yeah, I know some people, like, you know, when they heard that the runback was potentially banning Kokonoe, and that, um, whatever that dude's name is from Florida, that runs CEO, God, what's his, oh, Jabaley, Alex Jabaley. He was consider, you know, he spoke up saying, you know, I've heard the potential request for bans, please select and your I will pay very close attention to the situation. No, oh, no, you son of a fuck! I'm assuming they're both there. There's no way, pain. You know what? This might actually all be pain. Now that I'm thinking about it, this might actually be pain the entire time. Because it did start on New 13. That's where the character was at the start of this. And that's Payne's character. So yeah, Payne could be... That make that would make sense. That, like, you know, Payne's obviously probably paying close attention, too, to the po uh, the possibility of a Kokonoe ban. So hey, Kokonoe's gonna be banned. Let's have this Pocky Valkenhain ready. If I can't play the best character in the game, let's play one of the best characters in the game. Makes perfect sense. I'm gonna get my ass kicked now. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. This is going to suck. At least I don't have to deal. Fuck. I don't know why I'm jumping like I should. You can't fuck with Kokonoe's 6A. You just, it's unfuckable. God, this sucks. This sucks. That combo? This is bullshit! I'm in the grind. Ah, oh, shit, I tried to do it again. What the sh- Oh, there must be a Graviton still out there somewhere fucking me up. This is stupid! This is stupid! Oh, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Fuck this character! Rebel 2 Action No fucking fuck off <laughs> fuck, 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 not paying attention to my meter? I just used my fu- Oh, no, is she, can she kill me? She might be able to kill me. Oh, god damn it, now she can definitely kill me. I love the slowdown. <laughs> Fuck! Oh my god. It's a solid fucking block screen. I can't. Oh my god! Why can I not backdash? Why does it not hit Kokonoe? Oh my god, that was supposed to be 2C and it wasn't. Mother! Hot! <laughs> oh, I hate this character. Yo, this is stupid! 
Why the hell was I not? I have no. F I, I am. That is something that I am literally going to have to go back and look at. Was that freeze the entire time? Like, did I miss a tech? Or was that some fucking gimmick with the freeze and the graviton that I've just never seen before? That must be some fucking gimmick with freeze and the graviton that I have never seen before. And if so. That is stupid. Oh, yo. Barnes Day of 420. Shoutouts to you for having that, uh... 420 tag. Like, yo. Uh, automatically. Please we all know that means quality. Character. Automatically. Have fun getting your ass kicked. I've never played a good fighting game player that had 420 in their tag. Oh, my God. That was depressing. But seriously, you know what makes me mad about that? The first time I saw Kokonoe, the first thing I bitched about. Why does this stupid little furry have better magnetism than Tager, right? If that was actually a legitimate gimmick right there and not something I fucked up, that was a better version. A meterless fucking version of Tager's rapid cancel atomic collider of Gadget Finger. That's literally what that was, getting that float. And then you have... Shit. And then you have that, um, you know, that little floaty shit where you can go under them, you can stay on one side, you can wait until they land and overhead them, you can load them, you can try to hit an air unblockable, you can do everything. <coughs> so, she has a better version of, like, the one thing, the one unique thing Tager had. Oh. I think Bang, like, Bang's one of the characters that can get you out of that, right? But he needs meter, and obviously he didn't have meter. I think Fangs. I've heard. I don't actually know. All that I know is that thank God my character renders Black Hole obsolete. Just thank Christ for that shit. If I had to deal with that, I would not even play this game. <laughs> like I would have actually. When I said, when I joked around that this dude picked Kokonoe, I was just gonna straight up quit. That was a joke. If I use one of the characters, that their only de their only way to deal with that is burst or bust. Yeah, I would have been gone. Why can she do? She did 5A in the middle of that combo and got to do all the rest of that without it dropping. 5A in the middle of a fucking combo. You know what happens if I use 5A in the middle of a fucking combo? It drops. What were they thinking with this character? I'm like, I hate to be another one of the dudes. It just sits here and hates on Kokonoe. But she's so stupid. Alright, alright. We're gonna beat you this time, homie. We almost had you last time and then my brain got fucked. But we got you this time, bruh. We got you this time, bruh. Yeah. I think my biggest problem with this character, with Asriel, is the fact that he is... At a very large disadvantage in general at the beginning of the match. Like his one move that has solid distance is 5C. And it just does not start up fast enough to get somebody in block screen and start something. Oh god damn it. Fuck. I thought I was gonna get that lightning. Oh, this is unfair. Oh, that lag. I'm dead. Can you do the freeze into the air? With the machine gun. Ow! Action! <laughs> oh, what the fucking! 
I'm dead actually, aren't I? Need a super ball. Yeah, I'm dead, super ball. Oh, she doesn't need a super ball. Double perfect. I represented myself well there. Yo, COVID, no way. Oh. I don't know what to do about that character, man. I mean, like, people are talking about Asriel thinking, like, he might actually be the best option against her, and I completely disagree. The only thing that he really has... against her is just the fact that he nullifies Black Hole. That's all he's got. He's one of the very few... I, I think there's a, there might only be two characters that are capable of handling Black Hole meterless. It might only be Asriel, I don't know. But I mean, that's a huge advantage he has right there, but still, his neutral gets shit on by Kokonoe. You cannot approach... I mean, like, this is true of almost all characters. You cannot approach her from the air. Her 6A is too good. Her 6A is one of the best anti-airs in the game, hands down. And his ground, like his ground pokes, just they don't have the same utility. Oh, try to answer. See, I need an answer that I can use on a reaction, not that I have to like predict. Oh fuck, block. Like right when the first hit hit me is when I changed when I blocked. Fuck my life! I'm dead. I'm dead! I'm dead! You can do double Super Bowl. Doesn't mean you need to do double Super Bowl. Alright, so note to self, never use Hornet on Kokonoe again. Fuck me. That's a good start. Oh, okay, never mind. That wasn't that bad. Oh, that was supposed to be a bad that stand. That was supposed to be a backdash. Oh my god, that was supposed to be a backdash too! Yep, this is all because I can't backdash. Fuck my life. Fuck my life! She confirmed. Oh my god. I hate my life. Where the fuck is the super? Where is the super ball? Where is the goddamn super ball? Oh, I tried. I tried to DP that. It didn't come out fast enough. Where the fuck was the super ball? It only hit me twice. Why did it disappear? That mine fucked me. I should have won that first round. I mean, that was my fault. Like, I can't. I don't know. I've heard a lot of things about Asriel. Obviously, no matter which height she is at, 3D whiffs on her. You know, usually when you hit them at like the high. Well, not. It doesn't have to be the highest point, but like almost the highest point to the highest point of the end of the Rekka, you can lay 3D combos before they can tap. Hasn't hit once on Coconut. So, and I've already heard things about how her hitbox is weird and a lot of things just somehow don't work on her. I can now add Hornet to that list of things that I have confirmed are weird on her because that screwed up. And that kill, that was pretty much the thing that killed me right there. So I just need to remember, don't go into Hornet again. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. 
I need to be recognizing that better. Oh, what the hell is this nonsense? Oh, what the hell? My 5C didn't come out. That's weird. Like, he was walking forward. Whatever. Life sucks. Third perfect. Third fucking perfect. I mean, that was all because the 5C didn't come out. I'm not sure why. Because he was walking forward, so he was obviously out of block stun. Did this bitch just low profile my instant air dash 5B? Or my instant air dash B? I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. That life sucks. First up, there it is. <laughs> Yo, Kokonoe! I mean, like, I was doing alright at the end against Severin, but Severin, honestly, he did not have these combos. If Severin had had all these combos, like, I feel like these are probably her max potential combos. He's doing shit that I have not seen before. Damn, man. Oh, this hurts. This is depressing. Well, actually, this is an hour, right? Yeah, it's been an hour. I just took the ass whooping of a lifetime. I need to go rethink my life decisions. I need to go actually learn Takaka is what I need to do. I mean, like I said, a lot of people are saying, you know, I'm learning Asriel as a secondary character just in case I have to run into Kokonoe, and I don't think that's a good idea. I really don't. Because the only thing Asriel has going, literally the only advantage that Asriel has going in that matchup is the fact that he does not have to deal with Black Hole like you saw. Even that one Black Hole setup that he tried. Well, he may have been slightly off. No, I don't think it's possible. Because you have to be out of Block Stun. You absolutely have to be out of Block Stun. And that move is frame one, invincible. So I don't think it's at all possible to hit Asriel. I'm pretty sure, like, no matter what, at the very worst, I could be sitting there in block stun mashing. Like, the moment I see Black Holes, that is, a, that is easily reactable startup. The moment I see that shit, just start mashing out Growler, and I don't think it can hit him no matter what, no matter what the setup is. But obviously, that's just a guess. I don't actually know that for sure. But yeah, like, I... I think the key to be like if you want to beat Kokonoe, it has nothing to do with like trying to beat Black Hole. Please it has nothing to do character. with trying to find answers to the Black Hole. It is picking a character that can beat her in neutral and ensuring she never gets the opportunity to utilize the Black Hole. I think that's the key. And that's why I think I need to learn... I either need to learn this character or I need to learn Valkenheim. One of the two. Because these two characters, the two that I think have the best chance. The only thing, I mean, again, this is coming from ignorance in regard to, in regard to Taokaka versus uh, Kokonoe, is how badly does Kokonoe screw up Taokaka's neutral game? How badly does it screw up her movement? Because if it really murders her movement, it makes it all weird and wonky, where, like, you really cannot play her to an effective manner, because, like, she's just, her movement is so unpredictable due to um, Graviton stuff. I mean, obviously, Taokaka's not the answer, but I've actually heard, like, special movement options, like, dashes, and stuff, and, like, maybe Valkenhayn's Wolf. I'm not sure if I've... I may have just, like, interpreted stuff incorrectly. But I think I've heard, like, Valkenhayn's Wolf movement is not affected by Graviton. Whether or not, like, they blow it up or if they, um... Um... Or if it's just active. I don't know. Anyway, point being... Yo, Kokonoe! Fun times! My booty hurts! 
So I'm gonna I'm leave. My booty hurts from that vicious violation. Courtesy of Kokonoe, so... Hope y'all enjoyed seeing me get my comeuppance for beating on them newbies at the beginning. Because <laughs> damn did I... I... yeah. Wow. Yay.